I wish I knew you are here to stay. I know full well why I feel this way. It's just that I can plainly see that I need you. Do you recall what I said before? I meant it then. Now I mean it more. Our friends all say, and I agree that I need you. I'd like to say it isn't true, but all the blame must lie with you. Our friends all say, and I agree that I need you. I'll stay with you while the days go fast. I'll live for today, try and forget the past. I'd like somehow to make you see that I need you. I'd like somehow to make you see that I need you and you need me. You see, I just want to tell all of you people what a hard luck man I really am. You see, I was born hard luck. And I was born down there in the country on a farm where the land was so poor they had to put fertilizer around the telegraph poles before he could speak over the wires. Well, it's a good place to come from, folks. And I remember the very first day that I was born. You see, there were just three of us kids and we were lying there side by side on the bed. And then I heard the door slam and my old man, he come in. It was mighty good of him. I'd never seen him before or since. Well, he walked up to the bed and he took one look at us kids lying there side by side on the bed and he yelled to my ma. She was out there in the kitchen cooking up the dinner and he said, hey, come on out here, Liza. He says, Liza, you just come on out here and you choose which one you want and we'll drown the rest of them. Now there are just 17 of us kids, there's eight boys and seven girls, and two other children. Well, I hadn't got but little age on me when my old man, he comes around, he says, now look here, son, he says, you gotta get out of here and make your own living from now on, cause I'm getting just a little tired of feeding you around these parts. So I struck out, folks, and here's just what's happened to me ever since. Well, I've been bowled out and bowled up and held down and held up and cheated, squeezed and mooched in for excess state dog and province tax, liberty bonds, baby bonds, and the bonds of matrimony. Well, I've been red crossed and green crossed and double crossed and asked to join the Society of John the Baptist, the VAR Women's Corps, and the Men's Stomach and Relief Corps. Well, I've worked like heck, folks, and I've been worked like heck, and I got drunk. 
and got others drunk too and lost all I had and part of my furniture also. But what I want to do now is just go back home, spend that little part of what I did earn and not have to beg, borrow or steal. But I've been cussed and discussed and talked to and talked about and lied to and lied about and held up, hung up and doggone I murdered. And the only reason I'm sticking around here now, folks, for is just to see what the hell is going to happen next. This next song is a song about conscription. I learnt it many years ago after I read of an American father who had four sons and the first three had been conscripted to go and serve in Vietnam and the first three had been killed and the father refused to let his fourth go to Vietnam because he felt that he personally and his family had done enough for their country. This is the song, it's called My Son John. My son John was a good boy and good to me When we had hard times he stood by me We were in work and out of work and on the go If he had complaints I never heard of one He would pitch in and help me like a full-grown man My son John, John my son 
My son John went to college and he made his way Had to earn every penny but he paid his way He worked summers and holidays and through the year And it was no easy struggle that he won But he laughed at those who thought that he had it hard My son John, John my son My son John got his uniform and went away With a band playing marches he was sent away And he wrote me a letter when he had the time He was losing his buddies one by one And I prayed and tried not to read between the lines My son John, John my son My son John came home yesterday, he's here to stay Not a word to his father have I heard him say Well he seems glad to be home but I can't be sure When I asked him what he's seen and done He went up to his bedroom and he closed the door My son John, John my son Oh yes, he seems glad to be home, but I can't be sure When I asked him what he's seen and done He went up to his bedroom and he closed the door My son John, John my son That's what you get for loving me That's what you get for loving me Everything I had is gone And you can see That's what you get for loving me I'm not the kind to hang around With any new love that I found Moving is my stock in trade I'm moving on I won't think of you when I'm gone So don't you shed a tear for me I'm not the love you thought I'd be I've got a hundred more like you So don't be blue I'll get a thousand for I'm through Now there you go, you're crying again Yes, there you go, you're crying again But when someday a broken heart Is on the man I might just pass this way again That's what you get for loving me That's what you get for loving me Everything I had is gone And you can see That's what you get for loving me La 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 Have you ever tried to contact Auntie Grace in Aberdeen or Uncle Percy in Puddleton on Sea? Send an order to your grocer for some cake or margarine by a gadget known to all as STD. Now this system that I talk of, this wonder STD, is a system of advanced communication. But when I get into that little box just down the road from me, I think that I've misspent my education. La 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 la
la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la Now the instructions on the wall are for the benefit of all And I'm a very lucky lad cos I can read So with the meat tanners at the ready I'm going to spin to ring It's easy, it's just confidence you need Well, you pick up the receiver And you stuff it in your ear And you listen for that friendly purring sound And if that's there, mate, you're lucky, send a letter to the press Cos it's something that's not very often found La 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 Well, I've got the dialing code 220117 and a number which is 63843. Now that's 11 numbers that I've got to spin to ring to get me Auntie Grace to speak to me. Well, I finish the last number and get the ringing tone and some chap picks up phone to answer me. So I insert me coins and listen, he, it's not me Auntie Grace, it's some chap's big in Indian from Delhi. La 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 I've had China, Carolina, Benghazi and Capri And once or twice from somewhere out in space Cross conversations, foreign stations, dearie, dearie me I just want to speak to flippin' Auntie Grace Well now sometimes I will admit I get through right first time But usually I think that it is better To go right home and sit right down and get me pen and ink And to write me Auntie Grace a bloody letter La 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 Yes and write me Auntie Grace a bloody letter Reborn man of the travelling people Got no fixed abode with nomads, I am numbered Country lanes and byways were always my ways I've never fancied being numbered On the open road you could stop and linger For a week or two for time was not your master Then away you jog with your horse and dog Nice and easy, no need to go faster I've made willow creels and the heather peas on And I've even done some begging and some hawking And I've lain there spent wrapped up in me tent And I've listened to the old folks talking Sometimes we'd meet up with other people We'd hear the news or else swap family information At the country fair we'd be meeting there All the people of the travelling nation And all you freeborn men of the travelling people Every tinker, rolling stone and gypsy rover Winds of change are blowing, old ways are going Your travelling days will soon be over Yes, your travelling days will soon be over
I remember the day I was driving along on the Chichester bypass, singing this song, and the day it was good as the road it was long, I was on my way. And then up ahead, a black speck appeared, and as I drew near, it was just what I feared, doing 25 miles an hour in top gear in the out. Side lane, oh dear me, glory be, one of them I could see. It was a red velvet steering wheel covered to They sat side by side in their safety belts, they were safely tied, and together they drove through the green countryside, which they did not see. They had two dingle dangles which hung by a string from the mirror, and on the back seat was a thing which wobbled its head up and down with a singular stare at me, up and down, side by side. Keep your eyes open wide for the red velvet steering wheel come on to drive la 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 Got three china ducks on his sitting room wall, and a bowl of pink plastic flowers in the hall, and a souvenir ashtray he bought in Porth Call on his holiday. And when he goes home, he'll go straight to his chair, switch on the telly, and all night he'll stare at the girls and the gunfights and wish he was there, but he's here to stay. And when he regrets what he didn't see, then he'll switch to ITV, cause he's a red velvet steering wheel covered driver. He takes his basket to town He goes to the supermarket Well, he walks up and down He thinks, oh, what a task It's so hard to choose Cos there's lemon sponge pudding All topped with tasty freeze Ready-cut loaves, instant cake mix And frozen peas All of those 57 varieties Fresh today Medically sealed, untouched by human hand So easy, just eat the tin Think of those gifts you might win If you're a red velvet steering wheel covered driver la 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 Saturday night, it's the night for a filling, so let's off with our knickers and ring a ding ding, go all down to the hall for a good game of bingo and cups of tea. <laughs> then it's back home to bed and switch out the light, got our hot water bottles, sweet dreams and sleep tight, and got to keep us from things that go bump in the night, and especially all those dreams of the day when our own children will say my dad's a red velvet steering wheel covered to My dad's a red velvet steering wheel called the driver. 
This next song is a true story, ladies and gentlefolk. It's about a friend of mine who was a folk singer. He died a couple of years back, and he went to heaven, as all good folk singers do. His name was Fred Smith. He found that heaven is run on very strict military lines, and that there are various duties which all angels are called upon to do when they get to heaven. You see, so many people, the man in the street, thinks of heaven as being a place up there where he goes if he's done nothing very seriously wrong throughout his life. But this is not so. There are various duties which all angels are called upon to perform because heaven is run these days on a very strict military fashion. The sort of duties they're called upon to perform are polishing the stars, maintaining the fleet of chariots which the archangels use to skid round the celestial highways in, cleaning out the celestial ablutions, because even angels have to make water every now and again, and even angels splash. <laughs> and above all, they have to provide entertainment for the celestial confines. I don't do that. <laughs> and my friend, whose name was Fred Smith, he was detailed to go and play a harp out there on the clouds, and he found this very irksome. And so he revolted against the system, and he got sent down to hell where this song was written. You'll soon understand why. Old Fred Smith, before he died, he'd been a virtuous bloke. So when he went down there to hell, his friends all thought it a joke. Says a one to Fred, now that you're dead, we thought you'd make the other place. Then Fred said, I did then, looking very chit, said I came out in disgrace. Well, the very first day I got there, I was looking at the Everglades. When the orderly archangel came around, he said, get out on parade. Well, we all marched out onto a cloud and numbered off from the right. With me halo polished and me wings all pressed, I looked a splendid sight. Now the sergeant angel on parade had a face of a crimson hue. And he marched down the ranks till he came to me, then he thundered, who are you? Fred Smith says I, no you're not, says he, or 76422. So stand up straight, wipe your grin off your face and don't speak unless you're spoken to. Well, from ear to ear, he said with a roar, it's pole star polishing today. And the orderly archangel's chariot axle greasing party is from ear to ear today. Well, what'll we do, said the little bloke beside me, almost wet himself laughing. Don't laugh at me, you old little angel. From here to here, you're laughing. <laughs> Sitting on a cloud all day long with a harp in me hand was a farce. With vapour in me eyes and a frog in me throat and damp rot in me wings. <laughs> so I stood next day in a different place, but the same thing happened again. While the others went off polishing stars, I got lumbered. Harping. Third day it happened again, he said, right from here to here you're harping. He says, I am not, says he, you are, I'm not, you're bloody well harping. He says, I am sick of cold wet clouds, says he, I don't give a jot. Now are you harping? I ain't harping. Right, you're up before God. Well, I was stripped of me wings and taken into a little old man on a throne. Now what's the trouble? <laughs> This man won't up, you bet I darn well won't. I see, said God, insubordinate, and you're disobedient as well. So he bent me halo and sentenced me to seven days in hell. Well, now I'm here, I'm glad to say, of sin I'll never tire. Well, I'll stick by me friends until the end, dance merrily round the fire. It's not known, actually, but the landlord here, his name I can't immediately recollect, used to be a swimmer. And it was a person very much of his physique who recently swam the channel from South Sea to Le Havre. Now, this is not an easy thing to do because this is a long way round, and, of course, he had to go round the Isle of Wight to do it. <laughs> and uh, it didn't receive much publicity in the press, 
But it took him four and a half days to get there and about five minutes to get back because unfortunately he got his jockstrap caught in the end of South Train <laughs> <laughs> This next song was a request. It happens to be one of the most popular songs sung in British folk song clubs everywhere, I fancy. I first became aware of it many years ago when I was playing in Hampstead in a pub called the Three Horseshoes. And just across the road is a little alleyway, and in this alleyway is a very warm vent where a lot of the homeless people in that part of Hampstead happen to sort of make their home at night times because they all nestle around the warm air which comes out of this vent. And it's a song written by Ralph McTell called The Streets of London. Have you seen the old man in the closed-down market? He's kicking up the paper with his worn-out shoes. In his eyes you'll see no pride But how loosely at his side Yesterday's paper Telling yesterday's news So how can you tell me You're lonely And say for you That the sun don't shine Let me take you by the hand And lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something Make you change your mind Now in the all-night cafe At a quarter past eleven There's the same old man Sitting there all alone and Looking at the world Over the rim of his teacup Now each tea lasts an hour Then he wanders on alone So how can you tell me You're lonely and say for you that the sun don't shine Let me take you by the hand And lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something To make you change your mind Now have you seen the old girl Who walks the streets of London She's got dirt in her hair And her clothes in rags She's no time for talking she just keeps right on walking Carrying her home into carrier bags So how can you tell me you're lonely And say for you that the sun don't shine Let me take you by the hand And lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something to make you change your mind now have you seen the old man outside the seaman's mission? His memory is fading with the metal ribbons that he wears. In our wintry city, the rain cries a little pity for one more forgotten hero in a world that doesn't care. So how can you tell me you're lonely? I say for you that the sun don't shine. Let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of London. I'll show you something to make you change your mind. This is quite interesting hearing us sing this song, actually, because it's, it's uh, what is known as... It starts off by being a calypso, but we've all had so much to drink, it's going to end up like a collapso. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we hear a great deal about, uh, these days, about the problem of pollution, and this affects different people in different ways. You people who live in the country uh, have chemicals in your water, and uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's very painful indeed. Some of you actually even have chemicals sprayed on your crops, which is far worse, believe you me. <laughs> <laughs> that really makes your eyes water. 
This goes back to the days of the Torrey Canyon, the great oil tanker which got shipwrecked off the coast of Cornwall some years ago, and the government of the day decided to do something about it, and those, they sent in the Royal Air Force, who flew down from Lossiemouth in Scotland and bombed the Torrey Canyon, which was the largest vessel in maritime history ever to have been shipwrecked. And after they'd bombed it for about half an hour, they flew back to base, and when all the smoke and flames and bullets had died down, there the boat was sticking proudly outside the water. We shouldn't laugh at this, in fact you didn't, I'm grateful to say. <laughs> because, of course, the Royal Air Force is trained to fire at moving targets and not at stationary ones. <laughs> However, they then called in the fleet air arm, who knew exactly what to do. They flew over this stricken vessel with 5,000 gallons of aviation fuel and dropped it on the boat. Five seconds later, one of his oppos flew over with a box of swans. <laughs> And thereafter, it was only a matter of six months or so before the Torrey Canyon finally disappeared beneath the waves. So, ladies and gentlemen, pollution is a problem on everybody's doorstep. It was on mine when I left home today. I, know. <laughs> I should kill that bloody cat. Anyway, <laughs> however, pollution. <laughs> If you visit an English city, you will find it exceeding pretty. Just two things you must beware. Don't drink the water and don't breathe the air. Pollution, pollution, they got smog and sewage and mud. Turn on your tap and get hot and cold running crud. See the Hollywood and the sturgeons being wiped out by detergents. Fish gotta swim, birds gotta fly, but they don't last long if they try. Pollution, pollution, you can use the latest toothpaste, and then rinse your mouth with industrial waste. Just go out for a breath of air, then you'll be ready for state welfare. The city streets can be quite a thrill, if the mobs don't get you the monoxide will. Pollution, pollution, wear a gas mask and a veil. And then you can breathe, as long as you don't inhale. Now there's lots of things there that you can drink, but stay away from the kitchen sink. The dinner rubbish you throw out at night They drink next morning in the Isle of Wight So go to the city See the crazy people there Like lambs to the slaughter They're drinking the water And breathing, oh yes, and the air Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you who have glasses, raise them now for an Irish toast. Here's to the breezes that blows through the treeses and lifts girls' chemises and shows us their knees, for Jesus. <laughs> Actually, that was the expurgated version, and I said that, as you, know, as you know, this is being recorded, the unexpurgated version goes like this. Here's to the breezes that blows through the treeses and lifts girls' chemises and throws us the creases through which they possess us and gives us diseases, for Jesus. <laughs> was coined many years ago, before the days of miniskirts and all those very exciting things and fashions which Miss Mary Quant, or as they say in Germany, Miss Mary Quant, <laughs> has in store for us. She it was, you remember, who last year revealed to the readers of the Daily Mirror that she wears her bodily hair in the shape of a heart. And if there's anybody here tonight, any young lady who's wearing her bodily hair in the shape of a heart, well, then I would be very interested to see it. <laughs> In fact, I'd go further. I would be prepared to show mine. <laughs> Which doesn't look like a heart at all. Nor yet a spade or a diamond. It looks more like a club. Here's a blues sung many years ago by Bessie Smith. It's called Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out. Oh, 
Well, once I lived the life of a millionaire Spent my money, I didn't care I was carrying my friends out for a mighty good time High price liquor, champagne and wine Then one day I fell so low Had no friends and no place to go But if I ever get my hands on a dollar again I'm going to squeeze it Yes, till that eagle grins Cause nobody wants you When you're down and out You know, in your pocket Not one penny And your friends, you haven't any But as soon as you get on your feet again Then you'll meet your long-lost friends It's so mighty strange without a doubt Nobody knows you when you're down and out When you're down and out Nobody wants you When you're down and out Oh yes, in your pocket Not one penny And your friends You haven't any But as soon as you get on your feet again That's when you'll meet Your long lost friends It's so mighty strange Without a doubt Nobody knows you when you're down and out. Yes, I mean when you're down. 